Hello and welcome back to RimWorld. And I don't know, what are we doing here? We've got uh we've got a base. We've got some guys. It's been a couple of days, so I'm just see if I can catch myself up here. Alright, so we put a battery down here. I think that's a thing that we did. And uh oh yeah, ancient danger down here, so that's always good. Nice to know that it's right around the corner, you know. Down the block. Up a spell. Uh, we have some really awkward artwork, and we got a slate one. Portrait of Tyranny. This work portrays Darian Mal Malefello leading Zoya Marks by the hand in... Uh... Okay. <clears throat> Interesting. So... <laughs> Marks, can you make anything besides this cheap romance novel bullcrap? Is, is that even possible? Well, what is this? This is their room, isn't it? Yeah, fine. You know what? If, <laughs> if you're going to make this crap, I'm going to force you to look at it all day or all night or whatever. Okay, uh, we have, yeah, we got this extra... Duster, it's not very good, but we have it, so it's fine. Uh, we have some components. So I was thinking about uh, potentially updating some of the doors here and turning them into auto doors. I'm just trying to think the, so this is a good one, I think. Uh, I'm just trying to think strategically since we don't want to turn all these, that's too many components. Uh, I guess we can let stuff kind of happen here. Um, which ones would have the most impact? Like, what are the ones? It's too bad we don't have counters on the doors so I can see how many, you know, how many times the door's been used. Like that one. That one was just used twice. Look at that. Uh, you know, maybe these. The other thing I could do, I don't know if this is a good idea, but I could, like, remove a door and force them to go through, like, one door. Because it would be an auto door, so it'd be faster, but then they'd have to walk around. I don't know. It seems kind of weird. Let's just do this. Let's just deconstruct this. That's going to be a bad idea. Oh, it's 8 degrees in here. All right. So there's two things that we need to do immediately. Uh, we need to go to temperature and put a heater. Maybe put a heater in here. That. We want to do this. Uh, it's very cold in here. Maybe we move this over here, then put a heater in here. Let's put a heater in here. Like, right here. And then, uh, we're gonna need to... Let's see, uh, what am I looking for here? Structure, auto door. But we'll make this out of steel, because we have, we have a decent amount of steel, right? Yeah. And I kinda want this, since it'll be more of a permanent thing. Uh, yeah, let's do that. It's going to get really cold in here really quickly. Wait a minute. What just happened? You, oh my God. Stop hitting on marks for the love of gravy. I, <laughs> I'm going to have to have a, serious man-to-man -man chat with Vang here pretty quick. Either that or just backhand him. For freaking crying out loud, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, we need you to prioritize hauling this wood because I don't want that door open. Capish? Maybe you could do something useful with your time? You idiot. Who was working on this? Was it Vang? Yeah. All right, we have our first auto door. How cool is that? Look at Scotty, the little Yorkshire Terrier is taking it for a spin. I think he likes it. Okay, so we got a heater there. All right, let's move this. So we have, what is it? It's, oh my God, it's so cold in here. Uh, 21, I guess that's fine. Is it set to 21? Let's uh, reinstall it over here. Now, I think the game incorporates, you know, proximity heat. I'm pretty sure that it does. So I want to do this to kind of even it out a little bit and make it a little bit warmer in here. 
Uh, but I'm not sure. I'm not 100% certain on that. Or even if it does, I'm not sure how that, how that works exactly. But I think this is probably our best bet here. Uh, everything else seems to be fine, right? 17 degrees in there. This probably freezing in here, but we don't have any prisoners, so I'm not going to open that up just yet. 15, 17, 13, 15, 12. That's fine. It's all fine. Okay, uh, there's another thing that I wanted to do. Research is on hospital beds. Hopefully, we'll get that done soonish. Uh, let's focus. I need to go back and check out the home area because I turned off auto expand, and yeah, sure enough, here we go. Winter has begun. Uh, we'll go ahead and just, I don't know, I guess this is fine. What else? Uh, let's include these just in case they get, uh, I don't want them actually, well, I don't know. We'll, we'll just leave it at that and, and see how, see how it goes. I think I have this here because there's wire. Uh, that's fine. That's pretty much fine, I guess. Uh, yeah, we do want these as home areas. I don't know. I don't think it needs to be too complicated. Okay. Uh, next on the list. Uh, let's go ahead and... What is it? Deconstruct? Can I deconstruct these now? Can I... Floors, roof, oh yeah, that's right, it's under there. It's gonna bother me if I don't get rid of it. Uh, how are we doing on meat? 405, we're still doing pretty good. We've got some space though, so I wonder if I should maybe... <laughs> she immediately stops what she's doing and starts shooting this guy. It's awesome. Please hit it. Uh, how are we doing on wool? Eh. Be a while before we get enough for the next batch of alpaca dusters. That's all right. Okay, uh, what was I doing? All right, so z zoning I think is up to snuff for now. Uh, what else? I don't think we need. He doesn't need that dust, or she doesn't need that duster. But hopefully, and I gotta check this out. Like this jacket is seriously like. It's not even that... Well, I guess if it's adequate, then they don't really care, right? And it's a normal jacket, so... As long as she isn't freezing, she's not gonna swap out for the duster. But I want you to! I want you to wear the duster. Everyone else is wearing alpaca high dusters and cowboy hats. Why can't you just... Obey me? Alright. Definitely not gonna force her to wear it, though. That would be mean. Okay, so... I was gonna put up some defenses, but I think I think everything's largely okay for now, right? We've got we've got some heat. I mean, it's not a lot of heat in here, but it's okay. We've got an auto door. We've got more than enough power. Uh, let me actually check the power situation. Did I ever? No, I didn't. I think I was just allowing this to be powered directly off of the batteries over here, and then. These are just doing nothing but accumulating, and then the rest of the colony is based off of this. And this seems to be working really well, so I think that's actually not bad, doing a split. I hadn't thought about it before, but it seems to be working. Uh, okay, so... Um, this might be a really bad idea. This might be a really bad idea. I'm just going to start out by saying that. But I really, really, really want to see the caravan in action um but uh i don't know what to do i was thinking that i would go here right because it's just a uh it's just a tiny little what does it say a small guarded outpost could i take it with two people with assault rifles and you know alpacas which wouldn't really do anything but you know we have a couple of these. I don't know if, it, like, I guess you could go here, like, with a caravan and try to sell stuff, but I don't know. I'm really just interested in it. Really, I just want this billiards table. Because I really want one, and I was going to make one, but then I thought, hey, maybe I could just, I don't know. 
I might be saying goodbye to two people if I do this. I don't know. All right, let's uh, let's just see. Let's just see. Let's just take a quick peek here. So we add this guy. Uh, we add, I believe it was Olga. I'm going from memory here. And Sly. Did I get that right? Yeah, I think I did. Yep. Okay. Uh, and. Of course, I can't see their inventory. All right, so let's do this. Uh, let's see, Olga and Sly. Can I rest? Nope, it's a sign. There we go. Olga, where soldier and Sly soldier. That means they will wear. I have them taking off dusters. I don't know if I want them to. I don't know, because I don't think you can wear a duster and that at the same time. I don't know, man. If that's the case, that might not be a very good thing. Hmm. I should probably take off uh, Cowboy. Oh, I did. Yeah, I don't think they can wear it. Oh, if that's the case, they're going to freeze. I don't know. Let's see what, see what happens here. Olga. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go to soldier and edit and allow dusters. I don't think he'll put it on. Where's Olga, by the way? Olga? Ah, there she goes. Well, now we'll see if she takes the duster off. Oh, she's wearing it under the duster. That's a good thing. That's a very good thing. Dude, go, uh, go equip the duster. No, he's going to do that. Shoot. Well, we are a little low on food. But... Oh, come on, man. I didn't really think that through, did I? Alright, which one of these was his? It's this one. They're not going to be very happy because uh, wearing constricting stuff, but I guess it, maybe not. I don't know. I thought that would... Uh, wearing worn out apparel. Why are you wearing worn out apparel? Oh, pants. We need to make some pants. All right. Well, Vang's the man for the job, so let's make some pants. Let's make some pants. Maybe two? I don't know. Got lots of leather, right? Still? Yeah. Plenty. Plenty. Slime man. I... Uh... Put your duster back on, please. Thank you. Wait, somebody else took your duster? Who was wearing the, uh, Christina? She finally, uh, ditched, the oh, yeah, okay. I, I understand what happened now. Uh, I think what happened is because he dropped his good parka, or his good, uh, duster, to the person who was wearing the synth thread jacket decided that it was time to swap and then take, took his before he could go back and get it. Cause you're, well, I, I want to say you're an idiot, but really it was my fault, so. <clears throat> but we'll blame it on you anyways. Okay, so we have Sly and Olga are loaded for bear. Right? Yes. Okay. Now. Now. Let's uh, let's see what our options are. Okay, so uh, Olga, yes. And Sly, yes. And we'll take an alpaca. Or two. Let's take two alpaca. Why not? And we'll take some hay, right? We'll take some hay so that they can eat. And then we'll take simple meals, right? Yeah. Even though we're kind of running low on these. All right, 2.3 days worth of food. Really? That doesn't seem very good. Okay, well, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, what was that, 24? Oh, yeah, because... Uh, no, it's... 
20. I, I don't know. I don't really understand. I, I feel like those numbers are different than from last time, but I honestly don't remember. Okay, that's fine. Um, what do we want? Northeast, I think, would be the optimal direction. And people and animals, right? Two alpaca, two, two of our best fighters. Oh, man, I'm really nervous. All right. Uh, okay, accept. Your caravan only has 3.2 days worth of food and will become hungry very quickly. Are you sure you want to form this caravan? Well, I'm only going... I'm not even going that far. This is going to be bad, though, if I don't have enough food. What about that? 3.8 days. 4 days. And how much do I need? What if I take it all? Wow, seriously? Did, does it know that I don't need... Um, uh, see, so you've made me. You filled me with doubt, game. You filled me with doubt. Uh, I... Yes. Well, you know, but nothing ventured, nothing gained. Uh, so let's go back to here. Zoom in, please. So I'm gonna grab everything. Mar marriage is on? Mel has accepted Mark's marriage proposal. Ah, Mel. You're good for something, at least. At some point in the coming days or seasons, they will have their marriage ceremony and invite all the colonists. Consider placing a marriage spot. Yeah, I've already done that because uh, Sly and Christina are getting married someday, maybe. I don't know if you like it. Although, you know, don't necessarily want uh, to have your wedding in the middle of uh, winter, right? Who else? Who am I missing here? Olga. Okay, research screen. What were we doing next? Uh, we've got a couple of interesting things. I think I might go for... Oh, man, I feel like these are going to be really... Really intensive. Um, okay. Uh, let's do... Uh, this, because it's... Relatively fast. I'm okay with that. All right, Olga's grabbing the other alpaca, all right? There we go, there we go. What else do you guys need? Oh, you're getting hay. Probably grabbing all the food. Oh man, I don't know about this. Oh look, he's got a little saddlebag thing. That's so cool. <laughs> ah, that is cool. I just took all the food. Uh, I think we do have a uh, backup cook, right? Look, we have Sly doing it, and Christina, I guess, is going to have to step up the pace here. And Olga is going to... I like how both of my cooks are... Well, actually, she's not a very good cook, so that's fine. Christina's going to have to pick up the slack here, though. Tattered apparel, I know. Bang is working on it. I'll get it done. Wait a minute, did they? They are leaving. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> this is so cool. Uh, famous last words. Okay, caravan is ready. Your wait orders on the world. Okay, so, all right. So yeah, that was right, right? Uh, don't split. I want you to attack outpost. Yeah, there we go. So... Does that mean we just wait now? I'm guessing. Alright, Christina, you've got a lot of cooking to do. So... That's alright, though. I Everything's pretty well maintained here, so... I guess I'm not, not too worried if we uh, focus mostly on cooking for now. Oh, Vang is idle too now. Uh, so we made a couple pairs of pants. Are they good pants? Oh, we made cloth pants. Interesting. I think he swapped pants too for some reason. Uh, how much cloth do we have? I don't know. Do I want... Yeah, yeah, that's fine, I guess. 
we gotta use it for something, right? Uh, do I want him to do anything else? Do I want to make how many components do we have? Seventeen. Hmm. 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 I'm thinking. I'm thinking, but I'm not sure. So we don't really have any other major projects. We also don't have any hauling. Uh, what I might do is. Maybe just keep these guys busy, but uh, let's go to the world. Estimated time to destination seven point eight. Uh, no. <laughs> seven point eight days. Ah, what a failure! What a failure! And they're back. Well, good job, everybody. Your first caravan was officially a complete waste of time, thanks to me. <laughs> okay, well, I, I did the little planner thingy, and it said that it was like a... Although it did specify that it wasn't like an actual time, it was just an estimated time. But I thought, you know, hey, it's probably relatively accurate, but no, not at all. Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. Oh, well. All right, well, you guys don't need to uh, wear soldier gear anymore, so I'll go ahead and do this. You can ditch it if you want. Hmm, well. Uh, okay, so with two alpaca and... Yeah, we gotta get this stuff off these guys. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drop all of this. And then before you go and continue your cooking spree, just haul these meals. Because we're now gonna have a whole lot of... I wish you would grab all of them. Can you not do that? Yes, you can. But you can only hold 10 at a time. Okay. Understood. Where are you going, Christina? Oh, you're going to build. That's fine. Alright. Uh, Vang. Vang, Vang, Vang. I need you to hold a simple meal so that we eat, so that these guys don't eat it. Because that would be silly. Oh, all right. So I need, how many did I have? Like 20, 24, 20, like 40 meals. I really think I'm going to need to do the package survival meals because I don't think it's reasonable. Because the other issue is that the the food, the simple meals don't last that long. Oh, no, no, no. Marks, how do you have an infection in your stomach? You, oh, man. I hope it's clean in here. All right, good. Uh, well, I was researching tube technology, so hopefully if we get that, we can put a TV in here for you. Uh, what do we want? Uh, how many big boy medicines do we have? Eh, we better keep that. Uh, let's see. Health. Yeah, it's always the last place I look. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it at uh, herbal medicine for now. I don't think it'll be an issue. Uh, but what does this do to us? It makes her more hungry, right? Yeah. And it puts she's in pain, so. Hmm. Alright, Vang. Do what you do best and uh probably try not to get infected. I don't know if gut worms are contagious, but Okay, now we uh since we're obviously not prepared for a caravan, uh maybe we should focus on some other things in the meantime until we get uh survival meals and, and whatnot to that end i uh i think i just need to kind of figure out we're gonna have to do some mining i think uh do we have any more components anywhere in the near vicinity perchance just this one these uh, i mean we could just start randomly mining i guess but it doesn't seem like a good idea. 
Uh, I've got lots of deer over there if we needed deer meat, which you know, we don't really have a ton of meat left, but I don't know. Uh, maybe we can have, uh, let's try this. Yeah. We'll get some hauling out there just in case somebody needs some hauling or something to do. They can they can haul. And then we'll, uh, we'll also, how much wood do I have? 433. I actually have a lot of wood. Do a couple more, but I don't really need it for anything just yet. So uh, we got rid of the flooring there. What else can we do? Um, I mean, we could mine this out and then replace it with walls. I don't know if that means that they would. I wonder how that would work. Would they like try to get through here? Like, is it something where we could fill it up with traps and then? I don't know, maybe a bomb. Maybe that's what we use the IEDs for. Um, let's uh, let's do this. Let's just go ahead and mine some of this out. Let's just see what's in there. And we might mine this as well. What is this? That is limestone. This is not a thing that I need. And then I guess we just wait for spring. We wait for spring. Uh, let's go ahead and, as far as cooking goes, let's put Christina back down to a three. You do not need to actively cook anything. Uh, all right. Mm hmm. Olga's out doing some mining. Maybe we will hunt up some of these uh, deer here. No, I don't want that. It's gross. I know I could probably... Well, I mean, I could take it. It wouldn't really be an issue, but... You. 73. 66. All right, we're getting close. I'll take some more alpaca wool. Because honestly, we'll just keep cranking out dusters, and then once we have a surplus, we'll just start selling them and using them when people run out, I guess. Uh, we also want to make sure we don't run out of pants. Yeah. Definitely don't want to run out of pants. <laughs> Especially in the middle of winter. Alright, we've got... Uh, this is a pretty nice uh, prison here. I'd, I'd like to put somebody in it, you know? I, not having Esme around has kind of left me feeling, you know, a little lonely. Olga coming in strong with the AR. I like that. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. So we uh, so we're gonna mine this out. Looks like this is gonna be, this, as I assumed, all the way through here. And you know what? I might deconstruct this stuff as well. Oops. Maybe do like. We're just going to have so much steel. It's going to be great. I'm happy about that. Oh my god. Christina and Mal, what happened to you guys now? Oh man, I just... Why are you insulting people? Does it... Mal, you're killing me. Why? Why are you... Is it because Chris... Is Christina disfigured? Slighted, insulted, harmed. I don't understand, though. Like, I, I don't understand. Is it because, like... Wait a minute. She doesn't have a thumb? Are you, like, mad at her because she doesn't have a thumb? Man, Mal... It, it, Needs to be punched in the face. Repeatedly. I wish you would have knocked them out, if I'm being honest. Seriously. I'm ready to just, like, expel them from the colony forever. <laughs> She's just walking around with cut worms. All right, whatever. Well, luckily, we've got an extra bit of uh, food here, so. Eat whatever you want, I guess. Oh man, social fighting is idiotic. 
and they don't probably get any social skill from it you know i mean if they actually gained something out of it i suppose i wouldn't mind so much but i mean why call it social fighting i don't know i don't know why are you using medicine for just bruises man Okay, well, that was irritating. Where was I? That always, like, interrupts me, and then, like, I can't... I forget what I was doing. See, so we're basically getting lots of steel, I think, is, is the only thing that's happening here. Let's just do this. Go straight across and see kind of what that does for us. I wouldn't mind opening this up, and then... Like, my idea is to kind of close it off. Maybe hollow it out completely and then close it off and then put a bunch of traps in there and stuff. That'd be cool because then, you know, sappers might try to get through and then they'd pop out here and it'd be like, oh man, there's machine guns shooting me. Turrets, rather. So we'd probably want it to be like right here. Right. How much is that? Three steel per wall, four steel. It's not terrible. It's not great either, though. Let's go back to floors and also do the same thing for the floors because that'll probably yield a decent amount of steel as well. We'll have plenty of steel. We will not have much in the way of components. Hopefully, we'll get uh, another trader here pretty quick. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, you're moving floors. What were you doing in here? Cleaning? Don't tell me you have nothing to do. I mean, we don't have any, we don't have any construction projects, which is kind of the biggest issue right now. We don't really... Or we don't... I should say, also, we don't have any serious mining operations outside of this, so. Um, but I will do this now, because I was kind of thinking about it. And uh, maybe after we research whatever tube technology, we'll, uh, we'll go for uh, IEDs, perhaps. But we'll see. Um, I was actually thinking about doing this. It's 2,000. That's a lot. It is a lot. But, um, you know, maybe maybe because this is 2K, maybe we'll do this afterwards and then we'll do package survival meals. And then, you know, this is also an interesting thing. What does this do? Construct launchable transport pods that you can use to launch people and supplies long distances across the planet's surface. So I wonder how much they cost to make. They probably require like 40 components each because that's just the way this game works. But this is another alternative to the caravan. I mean, the caravan's cooler, obviously, but you know, if I really, really was desperate for that uh, pool table, maybe I could just rocket launch a couple people over there. I don't know. <laughs> we'll think about it. I actually might do it anyways, just for fun, just to see what it does, because I don't think I've ever used that before. So anyways, uh, I think this episode's gone on quite long enough already. Uh, not really a whole lot happening. We discovered how much, how, intensely unprepared we are for a caravan that's about it <laughs> but uh we'll see what happens next time uh cassandra is kind of i don't know on a coffee break right now so that's cool too so um anyways thanks so much for watching this episode and join me next time